What a day. I almost am at a loss, but not really. L let's talk about what happened today, what we heard, and what's going on here. Because some of these people, believe me, is stranger than fiction. And I know for a fact that you're not surprised about that. So yes, it is still Monday, March 11th, 2019. This is my uh, post-market wrap-up. Before I even talk about the markets, I want to introduce to you yet a new hashtag, okay? Hashtag totally fake. The truth no longer matters about anything. Now, I want to start off with this, and I'm going to read this because I really want to get it correct. All right. Um, so we understand Boeing stock started off nearly 10% to the downside today after it was reported they got a second crash with their new 737 MAX airliner. Um, all right, stock still finished down for the day, but understand it usually takes months, sometimes years, to figure out what happened when a plane goes down. Now, Boeing has a heavy weighting in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So it's imperative that Boeing stock be propped up in any way they can do it. Now, this is what just came out. I'm going to read this to you. The FAA will issue a notice that the Boeing 737 MAX planes are airworthy. How do we know that? How do we know that without an investigation? Understand the FAA is involved in propping up the market. The stock must be protected. In a real market, in a real world, people would want to find the truth out first before issuing a statement like this, but it doesn't matter anymore. The truth is lost. Now, with that said, let's talk about this market. The Dow Jones Industrial Average low for the day was 242 to the negative. We finished 200 points in the green with regard to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. 440 plus point turnaround in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's nothing short of miraculous. It truly isn't. Uh, but again, this is nothing that should shock you at all. And this is the reason why I got out of my short positions on Friday. I don't trust anything right now. Uh, so just let's keep around this. Now let's, let's talk about what sparked this market turnaround today. It's incredible. It was yet again the Federal Reserve. Jay Powell specifically said he sees no reason Sit down for this one, please. No reason for the U.S. economy not to expand further. Despite the fact, again, sit down, that the world is slowing down around us. The narrative has got to be maintained that the United States is an island among itself. We don't need China. We don't need any other country around the world to do trade with us. We are an island among ourselves. That's And this, when this was broadcast out of its mouth, stocks started to turn. They started gaining momentum. I even posted a snapshot of it. And CNBC specifically, I don't know if you caught this, they were sitting there at their table, what they usually do, and they talk back and forth. Pa, 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 pa. They're admitting, they admitted it, that this is a put on the market, and it's nothing more than a propping up mechanism. I mean, that's what they're saying. This is a mainstream financial channel. You can't make it up. But again, the truth is lost. Gone. Period. Um, so start using a uh, hashtag totally fake for, for everything that's related to this market. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Let's talk about a few other things real quick that is totally fake. There was an article on Bloomberg, and I posted a link to this on my Facebook page and Twitter. I think LinkedIn as well. Um, <laughs> you almost got to laugh about this. Basically, it's outlining how stock buybacks are the backbone of this market going up here. So we have a Federal Reserve backstopping the market, Mnuchin, six banks, you know how this is working, propping everything up. Valuations don't matter. 
P.E. ratios don't matter. Again, the truth is lost. So it's all about keeping the markets fake. Stock buyback programs, Mnuchin Six Banks once again, uh, jawboning the market higher, Jay Powell, the FAA today, issuing this statement. Oh, don't worry about it. This plane that just went down, we didn't conclude anything yet, but they're safe. Jump on board. Go fly around the world or some other thing. I have no idea. But that's it. It's the totally fake environment where the truth is lost. Let's talk a little more about that. So we're going to get uh, our president's budget here. Um, it's the largest budget in human history. Okay, now, there are some good parts to this. I, I did review it kind of quickly. There, there are some cuts in, in certain things. However, the aggregate of it, is demanding that we borrow more and more cash from the future in greater and greater amounts just to sustain where we are. Um, so for all of you out here that were at once believing that maybe the president would get things under control, I was one of those zombies at one point. Um, but you have to understand, where's the cash coming from? I'm going to give you one guess from the Federal Reserve. We can't we can't grow out of it. This is the nature of the debt-based economic model. It creates slaves on a micro scale, individuals, debts, deficits for the, the nations and the individual people themselves are borrowing beyond their eyeballs. Can't stop, won't stop. It's it's how they are they. And our president is obviously involved. Okay, so take it easy for a moment. Don't flip out. Go up the middle, like I said. Calm down, okay? The middle class is on the cusp of extinction. And this new budget is going to bring us there even faster. But that's the grand plan. You know, hit people, blindside them. Look, here's what's going on. People's, let me see if I could put this into a perspective that maybe some can understand. People's personalities are, are being somehow removed and being replaced with another one. They're, they're being brainwashed. Their, their complete ability to rationalize has been, again, erased with slogans, with look here, don't look here, with distractions. I don't know another way to put it. Uh, people are, are really, honest to God, becoming zombies. They, they have lost themselves to this environment here. Um, and anyone who can't see it is stuck there. If you're unable to see that, you should really consider, I know it's going to be uh, probably impossible, to think that maybe your personality has been replaced. That's the truth. It's all about mass brainwashing on a grand scale. It's the truth. Some people are immune to it. Um, some people maybe kind of fall into it and then realize, hold it, something's wrong. That was me. Okay? That's the truth. It almost got to me at one point. But ignore the propaganda. Understand that there is something else going on here. And this totally fake environment, what I just outlined for you, should really explain things how they are. Wake up, people. That's all I'm going to say. All right, with that said, Think about the things I've covered here. Um, does it make sense to you? I would love to hear from you. And uh, that's it. I love all of you. I will see you in the morning.